there is a good view of the Soyuz TMA-13, which is now currently about 800 meters away from the International Space Station, beginning a process that will ultimately lead it uh, to a short fly around to align uh, its forward docking port precisely with the nadir or earthward facing docking port of the Zarya module of the International Space Station. The view you're looking at is from an external camera on the uh, Soyuz vehicle as it uh, begins uh, its final approach uh, for a fly around that will put it directly behind and in precise alignment with the Zarya module's docking port uh, at a distance of about 100 meters or so for some 10 minutes of station keeping to enable Russian flight controllers to assess the precise alignment of the forward docking port of the Soyuz uh, with that Zarya module docking port before uh, the automated sequence uh, will resume uh, the final approach of the Soyuz for link-up at about 3.33 a.m. Central Time, 12.33 p.m. Moscow Time today. The uh, Soyuz are uh, now going through a rotational maneuver to, uh, to more precisely align uh, its forward uh, docking probe uh, with the uh, docking port of the Zarya module. Once uh, the two vehicles come into contact and capture one another, with one another, there will be an opportunity for the relative motion of the two vehicles to dampen out against each other, at which point uh, the uh, docking probe in the uh, Soyuz will begin uh, to pull uh, the uh, docking port of the Zarya module and the two docking uh, interfaces will come together. Uh, hooks and latches will then begin to engage to form a hard mate and a tight seal uh, will be uh, engaged between the two craft, setting the stage uh, for about an hour and a half worth of leak checks on both sides of the docking interface and the opening of the hatches between the two vehicles. External cameras on the International Space Station capturing an excellent view of the Soyuz TMA-13. Uh, that uh, flashing object, that is the uh, core's navigational antenna, the automated rendezvous antenna that is basically pulsing uh, a comparable system on the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station to receive updated navigational data on its range uh, to docking and its rate of closure. As the Soyuz uh, navigates its way over the next 90 meters, you'll see a slight course correction that will ultimately put uh, the Zarya docking port that you see just to the right of the crosshairs in the middle of those crosshairs. This again all conducted uh, through an automated pre-programmed system. The core's navigational antenna should be retracting a short time from now on computer command. 33 meters now separating Soyuz, an excellent view of the uh, three-segment Soyuz vehicle, the docking probe on the right, the crew safely strapped into their seats in the center or descent module section of the Soyuz vehicle, and on the left side of your screen, the instrumentation and propulsion module. Well, decimal five meters range. Eight meters range. From truss cameras on the International Space Station, the final 17 meters separating Soyuz from Zarya. The two spacecraft, the International Space Station and Soyuz, passing high over southern Asia. See target clearly. Crosshairs in place. Three meters. Three meters. Getting close. Growth here is in place. The target is moving somewhat to the right downward. The growth is. Ten meters away. Flight controller standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. The target is back in the middle. In the middle, we have capture, we have indicated. Docking confirmed. Capture. Copy. The International Space Station now in free drift to prevent any inadvertent jet thruster firings. Docking occurring over Kazakhstan earlier than had been planned at 3.26 a.m. Central Time, 12.26 p.m. Moscow Time. 
so. New residents have now arrived at the International Space Station. Mike Fink returning uh, to what was his home for six months, four years ago during Expedition 9, when he was the flight engineer along with his commander, Gennady Padalka. Fink now the Expedition 18 commander, arriving with Soyuz commander and flight engineer Yuri Lanchikov and U.S. spaceflight participant Richard Garriott, who will spend 10 days on the International Space Station. Now the opening of the hatch between the two crews, the hatch opening marked right on time at 4.55 a.m. Central Time, 1.55 p.m. Moscow time. You see Mike Fink uh, entering the International Space Station. Yuri Lanchikov as well, all three crew members now having joined their Expedition 17 counterparts. All six crew members now on board the International Space Station. And there you see Richard Garriott, the spaceflight participant, arriving on board the complex. The uh, crews will move back into the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station to set up for congratulatory phone calls from the host of VIPs that are on hand here in Korolyov, outside of Moscow. A good view of Mike Fink, uh, the new Expedition 18 commander aboard the International Space Station as he and his uh, colleagues uh, begin to, to discuss the setup uh, for their uh, remarks upon arrival. Good afternoon, Sergey. Good afternoon, Oleg. Good afternoon, Gregory and the new crew, Michael, Yuri, and uh, Richard. I would like to congratulate you on uh, your meeting in space. We're finished with the first stage of